<laughs> okay, well, it's not cocktail mocktail night, but we will explain to you why Lisa's drinking in just a minute. <laughs> Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I feel so bad. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. We, we've we've had a little uh, exciting pre-production here today. <laughs> so you know these kitchen aids are really heavy. They're really the old ones, especially, and that's an older one. And they're steel and they're really well made. And I have I keep it on top of my fridge and I was getting it down when we were getting ready to prepare to, to do the show tonight. And um it fell on my face and my <laughs> shin. <laughs> I was on this side going, oh no, oh no, and there's nothing I can do. Nothing, literally nothing. <laughs> Look, it's really it's really scary and um, I'm fine. I took an Advil. I took a shot of whiskey. It's fine. I'll be okay. Um, it also hit her shin and broke her mason jars. <laughs> but not my good Italian one. She was attacked by a KitchenAid. <laughs> I'm so happy by the, about that. Um, oh, no. What's good to know is um, I'm fine and the meringues are happening because everyone's excited about them. <laughs> but it's one of those things where it's just like I think we're all and I don't I know you know this, Debriana, of just like we're so tired, we're so mm -hmm. hot, um, shouldn't be driving or operating yeah. heavy machinery right now. Because it's just stressful time in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's lots of water right now and I'm just tired. <laughs> Uh, she was just saying, I don't feel like myself. And it was like, crash, bang, crash, bang, crash. She <laughs> was literally like, how are you doing? I'm like, I don't really feel like myself today. It was like, the, it just fell on me and like, ah. So anyway, we cleaned up the kitchen. The dogs are safe. There's no glass on the ground that we know. No. Of. And now we're going to make the meringues. <laughs> and now for the making of the meringues. <laughs> Okay, so everybody take a deep breath. Um, yeah, the whiskey really helps. That really helped just now. Um, okay. Good. So, um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I even put on my Christmas pants, okay, today. Um, I, 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 have Ruth, I have my Ruth shirt on today. There's Ruth underneath okay. here. Okay, that makes, that makes I'm me. I'm flashing Ruth. <laughs> You know, the great thing about this is they're so simple and it's really, you can make a spectacular holiday thing with, mm -hmm. you know, it just takes time, but the effort is so simple. So it, it's really, yeah. um, only a few ingredients. And for some reason I'm making three flavors because why not? I have, it's what I have in my, in my kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure the egg whites are at room temp. So they've been sitting out for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, egg whites. Four? Okay. I think this is going to make approximately 40 cookies. It depends how big you make the little florets. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Could be more, could be less if you make them bigger, right? Okay. Then you want to preheat the oven to 225. Yep, low and slow, right? Low and slow. And then you want to line your cookie sheets with parchment paper. And I have two because I don't want the meringue to sit around. You want to get it all out and get it all baking. In the oven. Do it in batches. You know what I mean? Um, it's a strange little cookie, and it made me um, – research meringue a little bit because there's you know the three kinds of meringues swiss french and italian okay mm -hmm. why they own the meringues i don't know but they just do <laughs> and this is the fresh meringue right okay now that makes 
the pavlova. It's the same thing that makes the pavlova cake. I know. love pavlova. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, um, and then, uh, you know, there's the lemon meringue pie. That's the Swiss meringue that's on, that's like wet and then right. you know, stays wet, but you bake it and it gets all brown and caramelizes. And then there's the Italian meringue, which is like a beautiful frosting with the totally almost hard candy sugar, you know, really, mm -hmm. really melted sugar. And then you make this beautiful, you know, gorgeous icings and stuff like that. So those are the three kinds. Okay. Um, and so actually I'm feeling I'm feeling much better right now. <laughs> well I'm sure that shot of whiskey helped. <laughs> I can move my face. Ouch. All right. So it's so easy. All you do is um the egg whites, cream of tartar, and sea salt. We're gonna put it in the big the big mama, which didn't break, which I can't we're gonna hear it. we're gonna see if that works. <laughs> gonna see if it works it's gonna be really loud for a little while so you're gonna have to talk to the crowd um, just bear with us yes i will i will entertain the crew <laughs> you do a little song and dance um this is four uh, eggs as i said and room temp i guess is really important to the meringue because it you want this shiny um you know result at the end yeah. of um, mixing it whisking it and um, and you really don't want to do a hand mixer because it's just too much work. It's just, it's oh too much no! Work. Yeah, I know. I, I yeah, when I think about like when they came up with meringue, like in the in the French kitchens in the 1800s, and you're like somebody was down there beating the heck out of. Talk, don't say beat. No, don't say beat. <laughs> it's really you have to be so strong to whip eggs, you know. And people have fe different feelings about it. My mom, for example. You know, she only likes to hand whisk her um, whipped cream and her egg whites mm -hmm. in her copper round special bowl. And she's had the sand bowl for 40, 50 years. Maybe, yeah, maybe six, wow. actually. Really a long time. And um, we're always like, Mom, just use the mixer. She's like, no, it's not as good this way. I have to aerate it. It's special, you know. And, and so whatever, <laughs> it, it works for her, and that's great, you know. Um, but you know, everybody has their has their thing. But it's a lot of work to be, you know. Yeah, especially to get get it to the right peak. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna measure this properly of cream of tartar, which is a powdery form of a vinegar of an acid. It's from wine grapes, and it just makes the eggs. Stay in their stiff mode. Yeah, it holds the meringue together. Gives it form, more form. Mm -hmm. And then a quarter um, teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, not everybody does this at the beginning. There's so many people do it in different ways. I mean, I was looking up my special lemon meringue pie and when I what I do, and I just add it to the beginning. And then, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're going to do the sugar in a very special way, but it's going to get noisy. And we're gonna all we want it to do right now is froth. So we're gonna get it frothy. Okay. Fry okay. right in it so you can see it, okay? Okay. Yep. Oh Lordy. Something happened to it. It's working though, right? Does it's not smoking or anything, is it? <laughs> okay, so but like an old car, it's still working. <laughs> It's not smoking, right? So here's the froth, okay? Yep. So, yay. <laughs> so before you start to go to town, I'm going to explain the sugar, okay? So what you okay. want to do is this is the part that's really, really important. And if you don't do this, it's going to screw up the whole thing. So I'm going to be really careful. I'm just going to put it bluntly. Um, be so careful. <laughs> you have to, for, for meringue, you have to use super fine, or a, a.k.a. caster sugar, as they say in the U.K. Okay. And you have to put it in um, a tablespoon or a teaspoon at a time. And you need to count like 10 to 20 seconds between this because it's got to really get glossy 
And then you add the next one because you're wanting it to dissolve. Okay. So check the dissolve afterwards because if it's not totally dissolved, then you're going to have problems. So uh, what I did was I didn't have any caster sugar. Who has that? I don't have that hanging around. Do you? Okay. Nope. So what do you do? You just put it in your little Cuisinart and I just ground well, it up. For super fine. Yep. For like a minute and it turned into super fine. So I'm going to be doing that right now. And you can tell us all. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yes. Well, I'll talk about my um, my experiment last night. How that went? How did it go? They, the texture is perfect of my um, my shortbread. Where the crackers? They came out really well. The texture, so I was happy with that. But I think I want to try and use the barley malt as the sweetener. Because um, the honey was a little sweet for me. And I tasted, you know, comparison, the two. And these are not as as um, high note of sugar, which would mean the barley, the barley sugars, uh, the barley malt is, takes it down just a little bit. So I'm going to look for that. And I'm going to look for a higher quality chocolate, powdered chocolate. So um, this says it's dutched. Um, even though there's a uh, baking soda in it, which was weird, but that's okay. So I'm going to look for some Dutch. Um, I think I'm going to get the Ghirardelli, um, which I didn't have. I used to have it, but I, I've used it up. So I'm going to look for some Ghirardelli powdered uh, Dutch chocolate and barley malt extract, which I think I can get at Whole Foods. And are you going to try it with gram? gram as with well? gram flour? Did do you hear what what she is saying? Lisa needs to be specific, <laughs> like exact in measuring ingredients. She can do it. <laughs> I'm a cup of sugar. Okay. And I'm putting it in by tablespoonful every about twenty seconds. Okay. okay. How's that? <laughs> is that exact enough? There you go. Now you're not adding any flavoring right now, right? You have to add the flavors at the end. You okay. You can't mess with the meringue right now. Okay. You're doing the sugar thing, and you can't put any flavors, it will mess it up. You do it at okay. the end, and I'm gonna hold our hand through it. And you're gonna hold okay. on. How's your cheek? <laughs> Okay. How how's that cheek? <laughs> Does it hurt? Your you face? It's totally feeling better now. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. But at the beginning it was scary. Yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> Someone's very proud of you. <laughs> I love how my kids cared. Like they were really concerned. Yeah. Well, I like that they came in and vacuumed. <laughs> Yeah. They don't tell you they love you a lot because yeah. you know, they're just, you know, in their teen zone. So it's kind of nice to get that today. Yeah. Maybe okay. Well, don't throw, yeah, don't throw a aid at your face to get it, though, next time. <laughs> wow. It's like sugar pixie dust. When I put it down, the sugar goes in my face and it tastes good. Oh, good. Uh. <laughs> okay, the peaks are starting to form. Soft peaks. Here we go. Okay. Soft peaks. Okay. okay. Yep. Oh, so it looks beautiful. Want, you want stiff peaks. That's when you know it's done. But we have okay. to test it to make sure that the sugar is not gritty. Okay. How much sugar do you have left? This you still got a ways to go. Probably like, you know, three or four more tablespoons. Okay. But it has to dissolve. That's the deal. Okay. Which is probably a good re another good reason why the egg whites have to be at room temperature. Because if they're cold, they won't absorb the sugar that well. 
I'm actually gonna scrape the sides of the bowl right now and turn it off for a second. Well, That's yes, and, and then show soft peaks because it's really they're really different than hard peaks. Yes. Yeah, right now we've got soft peaks. And what happens is, and I'll show you with the the whisk when we take it out, is you know, it really sticks with it. And it, oh, it's starting to get shiny. And that's oh, it's pretty. That's yeah. What you really want. And it's hard because, like, right now I'm going to test it and it's still too gritty sugar. So you have to have, um, it has to be dissolved. So you just keep mixing until okay. it's dissolved. But here's the, here's the soft peaks. You see? Yeah, see? there. Don't, don't drop us. Oh, God. <laughs> don't I'm drop worried. us in, in, in the kitchen aid. I'm worried. My kids are like, are you okay? Like, oh, <laughs> talk to me on January 21st, okay? Then the I'll kitchen aid incident, it seems a bit more scary than the cup finger episode 67. Yes, it was very scary. <clears throat> I did smack myself, though. There. <laughs> oh, my God. You want to know the best thing about meringue? What? Like 20 calories a cookie. Nice. There you go. Well, and these are going to be gluten free, aren't they? There's no, there's no flour in these. Yeah, so gluten they're gluten free. Gluten free. And, uh, I mean, it does seem like a lot of sugar, but it's not is it really that much. I mean, I don't think it's that much per cookie. If you ate yeah. all of them, yes. Mm -hmm. But if you only have like three or four. How's it going? Oh, I can see the puff when you do that, the puff of sugar. <laughs> I feel like well, I hope it's okay. I hope this kitchen is okay. I, well, it's working so far. As long as it's not smoking, I guess we're good. <laughs> So did you have that on like um, medium high? She can't hear me. I will ask her when she, when we're ready, like what that was on. But okay. so Lisa, what did you have it on? Did you have it on a medium high, and then you're turning it to high? Yeah. Okay. What about the sugar content? You need at least six at a time with tea. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. You might, if you have a big cup of tea, uh, I have a, a thermos of tea. We're gonna test Look it. Look at right my tea. Now. I'm testing it. Okay. It's, oh, that's cool. It's still a little gritty, a tiny bit. I bet if okay. I do a little bit more, it's gonna be okay. okay. So it's almost there. We're almost there. Okay, here we go. Part of me wishes you could add bourbon to the cookies. <laughs> Things a little noisy. I hope it <laughs> didn't break on the way down. <laughs> it was definitely loud, you guys. It was really weird. It was hard being over here going, I, I can't do anything. I can't even help you. <laughs> Not being in the same kitchen, you know. It is. Look how many months of this. This is episode two hundred and five, I think. <laughs> okay, we're so close. I would say like twenty more seconds, and we're gonna have it. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna pipe it, and it's gonna be fun because I don't have any piping bags. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. What, that's well, what, this will be an experiment. Well, that's what we need to do this for. You learn how to do some hacks. Okay, That's it. <laughs> it's weird how it starts out really loud and then diminishes. 
<laughs> He's watching carefully. One more second. Okay. Let's count together, everyone. Ten. Okay. <laughs> We've got this. Okay. We're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down. Now the cool part is the graham crackers turned out great. They um I'm going to make a couple of adjustments, as I said earlier. Oh, look at that. That's this is that's egg white girl. Peak perfection. Yeah. And it's not gritty. So okay, great. Let's move on to the next step. <laughs> It's all working. So okay. I'm going to use barley malt instead of honey, which I have to get. And I'm going to get a higher quality chocolate. Like I really want a dense chocolate flavor. So I'm going to get, I think, the Ghirardelli high-end chocolate powder and see how that works. So it worked, though the texture's right. So thank you for asking. <laughs> That's good. good. All right. So uh, what are you doing? So right now I'm just scraping off a little bit of the top. It had some uh, stuff on there, um, you know, the sugar crystals, and I don't want it to get back into the dissolved part. So I'm not going to okay. make this one to mess it up. Okay. So now is when we put in the flavoring. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put in vanilla first because that's kind of the base, and I want to make a couple vanilla ones, right? Okay. So, um, I'm just going to add very Are little. Are you going to use regular vanilla or vanilla paste? I'm going to use vanilla extract, and I'm just going to use half a teaspoon. You don't need a lot because you don't want to add a lot of liquid at this point. Okay? So I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just going to mix it with the thing. I'm just going to go like okay. this. Mix it in. Okay. Okay. Someone's going to have dinner, but they have a lot of eggs, so they're coming back to watch later. <laughs> yeah, you have eggs. Now, why did I choose to make this today, right? Why? Because I had two dozen eggs. Why? Because it was Thanksgiving, and Morse likes to make smoothies. So, you know, you do what you got to do. Is he going to use the yolks then? Where, what are you going to do with your yolks? I'll make an omelet or something tomorrow morning. You know? Okay. I'll just use it for something else. Okay, so I just fold it in. You don't want to overdo it, right? Fold it in the vanilla. Look, it's looking great. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now this is going to be the vanilla one. So I don't have any piping instruments, and I used to, and I don't, and that's a whole other story. I'm not going to get into. It. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to have this thing. Okay. Um, if you know, just a simple Ziploc bag. And I learned some hacks today. For example, you can take some masking tape, okay? Cool. I, I, I don't know this hack. I, well, Ronan's an artist, and this is why I have this stuff. Okay. So you just take the tape, and you reinforce the corner, okay? Oh, okay. Sure. Isn't this great? So yeah. It's like you're putting, you know, a thing on it if you had the specially scalloped edges, and you're going to do it on both sides, okay? Okay. It reinforces a tip, if you will. Yeah. Well, that makes it so the tip doesn't stretch, I would guess. Yeah? Right. right. Yeah. And these are freezer bags, so these are... The They're sturdier. The strong zip lock that they make. Okay, so here we go. So, so you've got this, right? You've got yeah. masking tape on both sides. Okay. And this is like painters, like, you know, people who paint masking tape. This isn't like the thin part. It's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to, you know, use it like this, right? Mm -hmm. And so what, in order to get a star, this is what I've been told. <laughs> I watch the YouTube. Is you're going to want to cut it. With some really sharp scissors. So I'm not necessarily cutting a hole. I'm just, I'm going to try to remember the shape they did. Okay, I think it was like this and then like that. Okay, so if you look at this, Debriana, what does this remind you of? I mean, it's like 
you know, oh. it's that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. Like the star, right? When you yep. have when you have the professional patisserie yeah, deal, it's, it. it's gonna yeah. be like this, right? Okay. So see, yep. it makes that this lady. I just learned it from YouTube. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. all right. So we're gonna do the vanilla ones first, and I'm gonna take a small um, sheet, put it down here. Um, and you want to take a glass, you know, we did this last time before when we did frosting and you put this yeah. in, you know, and you, yeah, that helps hold it. Yeah, yeah. You put it over this and then you fill it. Okay. We're going to fill oh. it with the meringue over here and it's really thick. I mean, this is looking beautiful. I'm very pleased with it. Um, you don't want to have air pockets, right? Cause then you're going to have a mishap. So are you just going to use like a third of it right now? Yeah, I'm going to try to do a third of the different flavors. Okay. Because that's what I had in the house. Now, if I was doing, and I'm just going to get all this down there and get the air bubbles out. If I was doing a Christmas special thing, I would do peppermint, you know? Mm, and, yeah. You know, you could do peppermint and chocolate. I mean, you could just do, like, yeah. you could do orange, you could do ginger, candy ginger, candy orange. You, the, the sky's the limit with these things. So you're just gonna, you know, kiss it down. Oh my God, it's totally working. This lady rocks. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> beautiful. And I didn't have to spend any money buying a- Equipment, you know, but you might have to buy a new kitchen aid. <laughs> totally works. Oh yeah, I might have to do that. Well, we're gonna get kitchen aid as a sponsor, right? Yeah. Anybody can can anyone help us with KitchenAid sponsorship? <laughs> right. Okay, so this is perfect and it's working really well. And you just, you know, you make these little kisses. Oh my gosh, look at it. it made the starry floor up. Perfect. So, Yay. Okay. okay, so that worked. Okay. Okay. Yay. <laughs> so we're just gonna fill it up. I'm gonna do a little bit more vanilla. Um, just add some more. Maybe did only a quarter. Um, so that right there, if that's a quarter and that was, um, eight, you know. So you split the meringues into three separate bowls? No. no she didn't do no. that. She no, just has one bowl with vanilla in it right now. That's just the base flavor. So I'll add, I'll do the coconut next. I'm going to add coconut to the top. I'm not going to put it in the mix. And then the lemon zest, I'm going to fold in. So that's how okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. So you're not making chocolate ones. Well, you know what? If I wanted to right now, guess what? I could just add some cocoa powder, right? Yep. Good. Yeah. I'm not doing anything else today. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. The day is over and she's making meringue. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I, I feel okay. It doesn't really hurt much more anymore. And it's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep piping these babies. And, and then how, how are you gonna bake them? Okay, so they go in 225 oven, which is really low, and they bake mm -hmm. for 45 minutes. And that's really low, and they go for, then, okay, this is the really important part. You do not open the oven doors, okay? So you turn the light on so you can look at it, but you do not open the oven doors, and for, about two hours. So you, so you let it bake for 45 minutes at 220. Yeah. Off the oven, you leave it closed and it has to cool as the oven cools because that's gonna dry these things out. They're gonna be crunchy on the outside and a little bit chewy on the inside and melt in your mouth. And that's the secret. That is. That's how they work. That's the same with um, when you make pavlova. Yeah. You, you pipe it onto in a circle onto the sheet like that you bake you put it in the oven to bake and you leave it in there after it's done yes and it's got to dry out and i'm not thinking we're going to have any problems with humidity in santa fe new mexico not in santa fe new mexico <laughs> no and you want to try to get these you know i'm going to add a little bit to these because they don't um really grow and you know they don't there's no sort of yeah growth. they don't rise so they don't rise, they stay kind of what they are, but they may, they need air, you know, flow, you know. Yeah, you want air around them so they cook all the way. Don't put them too close, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is right. how I translated. <laughs> that's probably that's gonna be the vanilla. So here we go. See how cute. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to do coconut and lemon on the big sheet. And we'll just use the rest and that's that's all. Are so you have. just gonna sprinkle coconut on the top? I'm just gonna put some sprinkles on the top because Okay. I mean, I could, I guess, I could put it in two bowls and put it within. Why don't I do that? I didn't really think and of that. Mix, uh, the coconut in. And, and is it toasted coconut or um, just regular? What I had in my freezer was unsweetened shredded coconut. So that's what okay. I'm um, So right now I'm just going to add, I'm going to split what's left in here in half. It's not going to be that much. Um, but I'm going to do that. Okay. And then, yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Okay. That's going to be. So how many do you think are on that other cookie sheet? Um, I'm looking at it for probably 16. Okay. So right now I'm folding in. I'm just completely making this up. Um, I'm super ready coconut. Oh. Uh, that's probably like two tablespoons. Okay. I'm just gonna very lightly fold it in. Okay, I'm not, you cannot over, if you over mix, you're gonna have a problem. You'll, so, yeah, they'll flatten out. Do not do that. You'll deflate the egg. <laughs> <laughs> so now here comes the coconut. And you know, man, you could like sprinkle it with chocolate. You could do swirls of chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, it's really fun to swirl with colors. I remember doing that as a kid um, with peppermint. I mean, peppermint chocolate. And you can make like peppermint chocolate wafers and then, you know, put mm -hmm. these in between and make these cute little kisses. It's a totally great Christmas, Christmassy thing. Okay, so here's the coconut. Here we go. All right. Coconut. And they'll last for a while, don't they? Yeah, you can just put them in, you know. A container in the freezer? No. <laughs> um, I don't think the freezer. No, you know, I don't think I don't wouldn't freeze those. An airtight container, I would say. Chocolate coconut, yeah, chocolate coconut would be great. Cho you know what I just realized? This no. bag is gonna have coconut in it, and if I want the lemon ones to be pristine, I have to make another bag. Another bag, but I can do that. <laughs> See, I just averted disaster. Okay. Oh, yay. Well, coconut lemon wouldn't be bad either. No, yeah. it wouldn't. So, and here's the other thing about this you do not have to do a bag thing like this. You could just do. You could just drop it by a tablespoon, oh. right? Yeah, you can totally do spoons and it'll be wonderful. Okay. Okay. I'm throwing this away. Here's the beauty. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna make a little one. And then I'm just gonna put lemon zest in there. Okay. I'll call it a day. Now, you could do, if I had it, you could do some kind of lemon oil or lemon extract, but I don't have any of that. So, um, I was in Whole Foods the other day and I got orange extract. I saw it there and I, and I thought, I'm gonna get this. I don't know whether I'll use it, but I'm gonna have it. Okay, you know what would be so good, Debriana, is you put orange ash extract after the vanilla stage with these and then some like candied orange pieces mm, candied orange peel yeah and then maybe even i don't know some kind of orange maybe if you did orange zest to give it like an orangey flavor uh color that would be those would be stunning yeah have you made um orange zest i mean um candied orange before i never have so i'm gonna oh it's so one. fun is it yeah, that's fun to do. It takes a long time because you have to keep, um, you have to clean the orange rinds a couple times to get the bitterness out. Oh yeah. Um, so they, they have to boil a couple of times, but it's not hard. It just takes a while. Okay, so I'm taking a lemon and I'm gonna zest probably, let's see. So would you say that's about a third of the batter left or a little less? Little, maybe a little less. I made more vanilla, but I'm gonna put these with fresh berries tonight. So, um, okay. 
you know, so it's basically yeah. vanilla base and then adding different things. Now, if you wanted to, just think of the possibilities of instead of when I did the vanilla, what you could add. I mean, you could add, you know, like rum and chocolate. You could do chocolate, cocoa powder, and peppermint. You could do, um, Get a clean well, you could just put them in a bowl and put berries on top, like a coulis or something like that, too. Like, yeah, like yeah. baby pavlovas. <laughs> like a raspberry coulis. Oh, there's one other thing that you have to be really cognizant of. Okay, so I'm folding the lemon zest in there. Probably, I was probably about a tablespoon. Okay, and the other thing you have to be really careful of is when you begin your mixer that there are no oil residue oils of fats or water. Yeah, it has to be super clean, the bowl and the and the mixer. It'll part. really, really affect the success of this. Um, yeah, it's funny, like the it, it it's very simple to make, but it you have to be really um a cognizant of a whole bunch of things before you make it. This is total precision. Like this isn't like it's simple, but if you it's basic chemistry and if you don't do the chemistry things right you're gonna have a serious issue it won't it just won't meringue right so i'm gonna here's my coat here's my lemon yay what are you about oh i'm so happy that i did three flavors so everybody oh and it's great because when you do the zest you can't see it right now, but I can see the little pieces of zest. Yeah. So if you did like big orange zest and candied orange, that would be gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, Hi. I think we're I think we're done here. And these are gonna be super cute. Um so you didn't put them in the oven yet. You're gonna open the oven once and right. put everything in at once, right? And when you do the star, you go down and up. So it has a little thing on it. Okay. Okay. Did everything. I didn't forget anything. These are going in the oven right now, not to be opened for any reason. Do uh, not touch the oven. <laughs> it's only 225, so it's really low. And you know, we're we're living in the high desert, so yeah, it that's um, that makes it somewhat easier for us. <laughs> no problem with the dryness. Okay, so I could fit two in there. Here, let me let me okay. see if I can. Timer. There she is. Timer. Timer's going on for 45 minutes. Then what do we do? We keep the we're gonna turn the oven light on right now so I see them. We don't want them to brown. They're gonna stay the same color, right? Mm -hmm. Um you just want them to dry out. In in 45 minutes, I'm gonna turn the oven off. And they're just going to dry for like two hours. Okay. And then I'll open the oven. And I'll take okay. A picture. Take a picture. Okay. I'll take a picture with the berry. Thanks for mer meranguing us with you <laughs> after you got meringued. <laughs> you know when it's yeah. like, you know when it's like some like you're having like a really bad time and you say to a friend you're like just punch me in the face, okay? <laughs> Like that would be worse than what's happening right now. That's what happened to me. Um, uh, <laughs> oh my god! No, actually, I'm okay. It's weird. I put on the arnica and the whiskey and the Advil, and it's doing the trick. <laughs> <laughs> arnica, whiskey, Advil. It's all good. I'm great. I'm great. I'm really good. I'm feeling all right. Good. I'm glad. Thank, thank you for <laughs> indulging us. But these are a really great Christmas holiday thing, um, and they're mm -hmm. just fun, and they look great. And you can swirl them with different colors. You can do food coloring, and they can just look really fancy in like a big bowl if you were entertaining. Yes, but but which, which we're not. But there you go. <laughs> Next year, we're entertaining you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you wanna, you know, entertain whoever you are dining with, they're really, they, mm -hmm. they are a show, they could be showstopper. Yeah, they could be. Yeah. Well, thanks. Is someone saying thank you, Lisa? <laughs> You're welcome here. Okay. So, witness it and there was nothing she could do. 
<laughs> Nothing I could do. I was like, oh my God, this is the weirdest thing. I can't crawl through the TV. Okay, so we're going to end the show with this. <laughs> uh, yes, a, a drink. And we'll One end more. the show with our scroll. <laughs> it's Giving Tuesday. If you have Oh, that's Tuesday. right. It's Giving Tuesday for sure. And what's great about Giving Tuesday is a lot Giving of, Georgia. <laughs> a lot of these organizations and foundations um, may have matches today. So that's what yeah. different than the other day. I mean, you know, hopefully people give all the time, but when they can, um, and even if it's just a little, I don't think people understand. A little that. helps a lot when it's all of us together. So yeah. everybody doing ten dollars is a lot. If it's a million. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot. So yeah, and and so many local food banks need help right now. They're it's really important to if you can help a little bit with with local food banks because so many people are hurting. And um, there's the um, a lot of organizations that are national that are helping people. So if, if your area doesn't have a problem with um, with food banks, there's lots of um, national organizations that are helping people. And if you don't want to be, well, I guess it's all political, but you know, today, if you follow me on Instagram at Noel Films, I, I just posted a post with all of the organizations I donate to every, every all year long. So yeah. Did you see, you know, I saw world kitchen here. Hmm. I was very excited to see them. I mean, sort of not, but I know that, you know, cause they, we obviously need help feeding people here or they wouldn't be here, but it was exciting to see them here. So World Kitchen is a good one to help. That one's great. I mean, I always, you know, I'm always thinking about equality and mm -hmm. human rights. And, um, you know, there's so many. Here, Flashing Roots. <laughs> wonderful organizations. Um, you know, this year I pray, Debriana, and we'll have a party if this happens that that will rival them all. You know, I really want the Equal Rights Amendment. To Me pass. too. You know, it's just like you talk about systemic change. You know, and that's one of those things where I mean, it just has to happen. I mean, it's just you know, we're gonna have a female. We have the best shot at it for this year in 2021. We're gonna have our first. Madam Vice President, and technically she isn't recognized in the Constitution. Okay, yeah. so it'd be nice. It'd be nice, <laughs> and that would be such a great gift to Ruth Bader Ginsburg's memory. Yes, you know. Um, yep, it would. And others, and many, many others. Many others that walked before, for so sure. Fought, fought so hard. Well, let's get it done. Well, we got to get Georgia first or none of that's happening. So, okay. So then there's fair fight. There's fair <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah. So definitely got to yeah. go get Georgia people. Yes. And postcards to swing voters and envoys for humanity. They're all doing postcard writing now. So help what, do what you can. Yeah. And, re and it's fun to research. And I'll just tell you an interesting story that just tells us where we are right now. So you look up like, yeah, top women's foundations to donate to for women's rights or something like that. Do you know what comes up? Makeup foundation. Oh. Okay. That's what comes up on Google. I'm just, okay, do I need to say any more? This is it. This no. Is oh. Do it. Just do it and you'll see. So I, that was a kind of, see, that's why I was in my state. Yeah. <laughs> that's what? an eye opener. No. <laughs> For many reasons. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I had my mixture fall on my face. But anyway. <laughs> no. no, don't. We don't want any more falling mixers. Everybody find somebody to donate to. <laughs> if you, you know, I'm just saying to everybody, just um, take care of yourself. Self-care is very important. Get your rest. We're all taking on a lot right now. It's, it's yeah. Hard. And it's the holidays, and just you know, don't don't try to lift heavy things. <laughs> <laughs> Have somebody help you. <laughs> if they're above you and they're heavy. Yeah. It's a thing. If they're below, it's different. You know. Yes. <laughs> just be careful, no matter what. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Be present. Be present. Be present. Be present. 
Thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for everything. And, uh, hey, let's get to 3,000 members. Tell your friends. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Tell people to join us. We want 3,000. 3,000 by Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. We can do it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>